Hello everyone. Today we will be trying a problem from NMTC Junior Stage 2. And this problem is from Geometry. As usual, we will actually use this problem to learn a couple of concepts and also a strategy for problem solving. So this is not just a solution video, we will also be discussing these two things. You can grab your pen and paper. First thing, let me describe the problem to you. We have a circle and we have a point external to the circle A. Let's draw the diameter BC. We will join AB and AC. It's given that this is 12, this is 1. The length of AD is 12, BD is 1. And the length of the diameter is square root of 257. All that is given data. BC diameter length square root of 257 AD 12 BD 1 okay with this information we need two outputs find the value of EC the length of EC and then also find the value of AX AX is the perpendicular dropped from A on BC. That's the perpendicular to BC. So how do we go about doing this problem? Let me describe a few concepts that will be useful for this problem. And you can use these concepts in other problems as well. The first thing is the Pythagoras theorem. Maybe you already know this. Pythagoras theorem is a relation between the legs of a right angle triangle. So if this is A, this is B, this is C and this is 90 degree, then A square plus B square is equal to C square. That's the content of the Pythagoras theorem. The second thing that we will use is the power of a point. Power of a point. So what does that mean? That means that if you have a point A outside the circle, then if you draw two secants like this, any two secants or maybe three secants, doesn't really matter. Let's suppose these names are B1, C1, B2, C2, B3, C3. You can draw more. Then the power of a point theorem says that AB1, AC1, this product is equals to AB2, AC2 is equal to AB3, AC3. 
and whatever this value is maybe it is 39 or something or 52 whatever whatever the number is whatever this product you get it is the same whenever you draw any other secant as well so if you draw another secant a b4 c4 even then you will get the same value the product will be the same okay and this value whatever this value is this constant value is known as the power of a with respect to the circle so i have put the explanation of why this works in the link in the description so you should definitely check it out and also get allied problems to this concept it's a very powerful concept of geometry so we will be using these two ideas to solve this problem so first i will give you a hint because i want you to try the problem let me draw the picture one more time so we have a circle like this let's draw the diameter of the circle as we see a is a point outside the circle we draw a b and a c and they intersect the circle at d and e it's given that this is 1 this is 12 this is square root of 257 drop a perpendicular this is x okay the first thing is join cd that's the hint now you can pause the video and try it on your own you see this angle will be 90 degree angle cdb why so can you tell me in the comment why angle cdb is 90 degree now if you believe that then cd becomes 16 using pythagoras theorem because bc square minus bd square is equals to cd square so this is 257 minus 1 square root of that is cd which is 16 okay so now you can again apply pythagoras theorem in this triangle to get ac is equals to 20 so ac becomes 20 now let's finally apply power of the point a to get ad times ab is equals to ae times ac right because that's what the definition of power of a point is we just explained it in the we just explained it a few minutes ago so let's write that down so ad is 12 ad ab is 13 because you just add 12 and 1 ae is something that you don't know but ac is 20 you know that right so 12 of times 13 by 20 that's what ae is so if you subtract from 20 ae you will get ec that's your goal so 400 minus 156 by 20 that is the value of ec okay so that that is part one of this problem part two of this problem can be solved by finding out the value of bx finding the value of bx okay how can you do that first notice that this triangle this quadrilateral adxc this is cyclic right this quadrilateral right here this quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral why is that because this is 90 this is 90 and angle in the same segment 
angle in the same segment is 90 degree they subtend both 90 degree so those four points will be cyclic now with respect to this red circle you can find the power of the point B to get BX so you get BX times BC is equal to BD times BA now that you got BX apply Pythagoras theorem on this triangle to get AX so BX is BX is equal to BD times DA over BC. Here BD is 1, DA is 12, BD times BA. So BA is 13, BA is 13, and BC is square root of 257. So you get the value of Bx as 13 by square root of 257. So now apply Pythagoras theorem in this triangle and you'll be done. Okay. Tell me the final answer, the value of Ax in the comment and I'll see you in the next one.